let's be honest, your Windows 11 desktop probably looks like it just survived a hurricane of icons, widgets, random files, and whatever that weather thing is doing in the corner. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to turn that cluttered mess into a clean modern minimal setup that actually makes you feel productive, or at least like your life is somewhat together. And yes, part of that clean look starts with a good wallpaper. If you want the exact ones I used in this video, I've got a hand-picked wallpaper pack linked below, grab it, set the vibe, and let's get started. Let's clean up the desktop first. If you have a lot of the icons on your desktop, you can simply right click on it. And then here under the view, you will find an option show desktop icons. Make sure that you uncheck that and voila, no more icons on your desktop. But the icons are still here. If you go to the file explorer, you will find them right here inside the desktop folder. This is pretty much it. How you can simply put away all of the icons from your desktop into one simple folder. Now let's go straight to customizing the taskbar. Here I will open my browser and search for the start all back. So start all back is really cool program for customizing the taskbar as well as the start menu. Here you can simply click on download and you will get this file.exe. Now once you have it you can simply go here to the downloads folder and make sure that you double left click on it. Now here in the installer click install for everyone and then click here yes. Now once you've done that you should see here a brand new taskbar at the bottom and if you click here on the start menu you will also see a brand new start menu as well. Now you should also see the welcome window for the start all back configurator. Here make sure that you apply proper 11 theme then you can go here to the taskbar and then down below make sure that you enable this option centered task icons. This will put every single item here to the center of the screen and then here we can also enable plumpness and this will make the taskbar a little bit bigger. You have also two options buffer and aura. You can click on aura but this one is a lot smaller so I do prefer the buffer option here. Then you can also enable segments and now you can see here that you have another option up to the three segments. Here I will click on this and select here just central segment and then you can also enable automatic hiding as well as dynamic shyness. So that's pretty much it. Now if I open the Zen browser for example in full screen you will see that the taskbar goes away. Now if I go with my mouse down below you can see that it pops up and we have this really nice animation with our only taskbar at the bottom. But the caveat is that you only have 100 days free trial. Now we can also purchase this program by using using the link in the video description below. I think it's totally worth it for what it actually offers. And here, if you go under the Explorer, you can also change the look of the Explorer as well. For example, to Windows 10 Ribbon UI or even to Windows 7 Command Bar. Now, I think we are pretty much done with our taskbar. Now let's continue with the widgets and the wallpaper. Here, I'm going to go to the wallpapers section on unsplash.com and down below, I will search for one really cool wallpaper. So this is the wallpaper which I found and you can simply download it by clicking here on the arrow and make sure that you select here original size so this is the 4k resolution of this image and then click on ok but by the way you guys can also use my wallpaper pack which you can check out in the video description below now here once I have the wallpaper I will go back here to my file explorer click on the downloads folder and here I will right click on the image itself and here I will select set as desktop background now once I've done that you can also set the same background as your lock screen image as well. You can simply navigate here to the start menu, click on the settings, and then here you can go to the personalization. Down below, I will click on the lock screen and then here click on browse photos. Now here, go to the downloads folder and select the image you got from Unsplash. Now we'll also put this image, exact image I used in this video, linked below in the video description as well. And by the way, guys, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you, of course, haven't already. I post every single week. Now, once you have set the wallpaper as your lock screen, as well as your desktop wallpaper, you can simply open the web browser again or just pause this video and go to the Rainmeter Dot net. Now here I will go to the first page and click on the download and this will give me the .exe file. Now this is very important because the Raymeter is standard for the desktop widgets on Windows. So make sure that you navigate back to your downloads folder and double left click on the .exe file. Now for example if you don't see here the endings of the file like .exe or maybe .jpg you can simply click here on view and then under here the show option make sure that you enable 
enable file name extensions and this will show the endings of the file now let's go back to the setup of the rain meter here i will click on ok next install and that is about it for the rain meter here i will click on finish and once i have the rain meter installed you should see a few of the pre-installed widgets now one thing which i will do here i will remove all of them by right clicking here and click on unload skin and now we have empty desktop now the first widget which i will go for is the one called jack score so here i will go to jack score and then down below i will click on github.com website i will also put this link in the video description below by the way click here on the releases and then here you will find this file so jack score.rm skin click on this here and now save it on your computer now we can go back to our downloads folder so just like this and make sure that you double left click on the file so jack score click install and now here you should see the welcome screen of the jack score widget now we can simply click here down below the get started button to skip the simple tutorial and then here make sure that you navigate to the library you can click on the first option which is modular clocks here click on the green arrow to install this widget make sure that you watch until the end by the way guys because the end result is absolutely fantastic and once again if you are enjoying this type of content click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already now once you have this skin installed modular clocks you can simply click here to activate the skin and now here i will go to the general and i will click on this option so 431 so this is the style which i will go for and then here down below i will go to style options now here you can see the widget and i will just change its size to let's say 1.75 so i will make it a little bit bigger and i will put it somewhere here and to align it you can right click on the widget and click here on align and here i will select horizontally centered so we are pretty much done with our clock widget on our desktop now let's continue with another one which is the music widget here i'll go to the library and here i will install modular players widget click on the green arrow so the same as before and once you have it installed you can simply click here to activate the widget then go here under the general and here select windows 11 option now here's the most important part go to the style options and make sure that you change the blur variant to standard and the rounding to the standard as well well, you can also disable window stroke if you want to but down below make sure that you change the background color from 000 to 255 times 3 so just like this and once you have all the settings dialed in click on enter and this should change its color and for the widget scale i will go for 0.7 and I'll, i will place it somewhere here on the screen so just like this right click once again align and horizontally centered so this is pretty much it for our clock widget as well as for our music widget Widget. now let's continue with a few more widgets so here i will search for the monterey rain meter and once you are here on the github page which i will also put in the video description below click on the releases here and once again download the file which ends with rm skin click on ok and now navigate back to the downloads folder click on monterey.rm skin and click on the install now once you have this widget back installed here i will enable the calendar i will enable the weather and I will also enable the monitoring widget as well. Now you can close this settings window and I will put this monitoring widget somewhere here at the bottom. So just like this, you can see here the CPU usage, the RAM, the internet, and also the disk. And now here you have the weather widget, which I will place somewhere here. And of course, I will make it a bit smaller. So I will put here wide option and put it here and now for our calendar i will put it just like here now i forgot to add another one so here you can right click and click on edit widgets and now here i will add notes widget as well so i will put it just somewhere here and now for the location you can simply click on edit weather by right clicking and changing the city and then click on save we have one widget left to install and this one is called mii power so just search for mii power or click the link in the video description below and once you are here click on download and you will once again get the .rm skin file and here navigate to the downloads folder and double left on this skin now nothing should happen when you install this skin you can simply right now go here to the system tray and double left click on the rain meter icon and once you are here go to the mii power and click here on power once again and go for the w version this one stands for white double left click on it and you should get the skin here at the top left corner and here i will place it next 
next to this monitoring widget. I think this is pretty much it for our setup. I think it looks night and day compared to the before. And uh, yeah, overall, I think it is really nice to look at and it's also very, very functional. Please let me know in the comment section what do you actually think about this setup. And with that said, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also check out the wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.